Welcome back, everybody, to more 80 days here on Additional Pounds Games. We're continuing where we left off. Just arrived in Colombo. Let's take our master's advice and let's do some exploring since there are no departures for today. We can go to Colombo, to Madras, but we're, we're, what we're looking for is. Well, capital city of British. Ceylon was so busy with trading ships, the water was barely visible. Hmm. Here's our hub worth our finding. So our airship seem to be worse for wear. Their envelopes roughly patched, ropes black and bold, slowly unwrapped. Boats have been abandoned. Favor the skies. So we go to Madras. But that is not what we're looking for. Negotiate. No charge in three days. We'll take that. Departs for Singapore in three days at noon. Okay. That's a possibility. Three days at noon. Let's take a look at the market. See what is available for trade. Beijing, Pavia, Calcutta. Ooh. Okay. Let's get ourselves an extra suitcase. We don't need that suitcase. All right. Some tea. Some apples. Panama hat. And I think we're good without the, uh, the spices. Let's go ahead and... Stay the night. Grand Oriental Hotel opposite the Victoria Arcade. Hmm. Seeing the low on oxen, drawing the poor people's carts along cobbled streets. Alright. Let's do it. We just, uh, Higher extra space, rough skies, air gear set should make my master more comfortable. Good stuff. The T Clipper. Interesting. Bright eyed envelope and rowing twin engines. Is the ship fast? I'm sure I'll make good time. Alright. Let's go ahead and converse. Learn a little bit more from the captain. Suffers for its location too close to everywhere. Uh, let's go Port Moresby. I don't know where that is. Um, Machu Picchu. Ah, that was not helpful. All right, T Clipper, making good. Find myself beside the cheerful young captain. Does your wife also sail the skies. Been the Chinese bank in Singapore. She will buy me a ship a hundred times over. No mind. Yeah. Interesting young man. Let's go ahead and keep conversing. All right. Singapore. Bad reputation, but it's a deep enough place. Manila. Yes, we know. That's the whole point. Batavia. I've heard the Dutch control Batavia is slipping. Very good to know, not good, and that means it's probably a rough place. Rumblings of discontent aboard the ship centered upon a figure of first mate Ranuga, dark-skinned, towering Sinhalese woman. Inquired subtly of her grudge. Captain selling the ship and joining his wife's business. What will you do then? We stock the ship in our home. Why don't you buy the ship? How much? 27,000 pounds. Hmm. I politely declined. That might come to haunt me, actually. 
talk about the captain, talk about Singapore, Stone Town, uh, use the dominoes, Singapore again, Machu Picchu, uh, Antananarivo, Apples. Lundy? I'm not sure where Lundy is. Um, Kuala Main? Alright, so we got a little bit of information out of them that time. Making our way on the T-Clipper. First sign of trouble was when the lights began to flicker, the gas lamps sputtered. Um, Grabbed my way to the bridge to investigate. Stop to listen. Do this. Press my ear against the door. Hmm. Creep away to warn my master. Uh oh. Is this your solution, first mate? We don't want to be sold off to the highest bidder. Worked alongside you for ten years. Lawyer to your blank. Carving woman. You're jealous. Perhaps you do. Can I let her go if, if Captain can? Try to stop Captain Go. Uh oh. I looked up. That's not good. The entire envelope ignited into a glowing, writhing ball of flame, whipped past us, we rolled and tumbled in the air, falling uncontrollably, then we hit the water. Do we just die? And I had not drowned, which is more than I expected. My head was upon Mr. Fogg's lap. Been sealed in the bridge, he informed me. I cataloged my injuries. Considering I had nearly been shot. You cracked your skull, my master declared. This is not the first time you've awoken. Are you unharmed, monsieur? I am surprise. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Hmm. Saw the heavy glass bridge, blah, blah, blah. We we're sinking. We only have a day's worth of air at most, so we will die here. It seems a distinct possibility we sat together in the dark for an hour or more without saying anything. Heard the captain and the first mate working together. Not all risks can be calculated, I said thoroughly. Drew my breath. And then let it go. The important thing is to only to calculate the average risk, my master murmured. Average transcends particular risk and constant. It's what they call the law of averages. Saw a video on that just just the other day, actually. Um, constancy is a soul wist plus per two. Softer one. Why? Why did you take the wager? No, I'm not certain. Hmm. Oh no, guys. We might have just failed. Will you forgive me? Sat myself next to the frog. Faces were frozen in shock. The sun blinded us. And am I delirious, monsieur? No. We are you are rescued. Found his indication, looked up. Indeed, the sky hung a colossal airship. Thick steel cables attached to our vessel. We were slowly winched out of the water. Bulkhead sw door swung open. On his welder mask, armored suit stood. Limbed in light. Hello down there. Have any of you seen my husband? Unbelievable. Attend to our master. Get his health up a little bit. Well. Uh, Madam Go, the banker, proved... Excellent rescuer. She retrieved our bags, provided us vast quantities of stew. Thought to bring a team of doctors. 
Spoke with the first mate. Captain's not going to sell the ship, she told me excitedly. And all I needed to do was try to shoot him. Uh. Would you go for a walk? Now, leave me in peace till we reach Singapore. From here on, I'm going to ensure I consider all of the possibilities. Well, his health is slowly going up from 20 ish. Here we are in Singapore. We should sell some of our possessions here. Keep that. What sells well here? Um, let's go back to the market. Heavy storm. And she. Eh, we're good on money. Alright, let's go ahead and explore. Get ourselves some new routes. Singapore was a British colonial port. Peopled largely by Chinese, Malays, and Indians. Filled by rubber exports and opium oil. Seemed like a dangerous spot to linger. Is there a problem? I'm going to seek some transport. Indeed. Headed for, and we want, uh, Manila. Not a Spaniard. No business there. Maybe you should avoid it. I am not rich. Hmm. Plan our route. Leaves tomorrow at 1. That is quite a lot of health, though. Pass the night here. See if we can't get him a little more health. There we go. 46. 46 is pretty good. It's all right. Extra space, extra space. So he's only going to take five health damage. That's good. Took passage on a little steam yacht with a cargo hold full of Chinese silk parasols. Fetch an exorbitant price of Manila. That lady's so shy of the sun. These pretty money makers are only passing through Manila. <laughs> Sell them. Acapulco. Mexican ladies will pay all their pin money just a month for one gaudy per. Sound rather contemptuous. Little use for ladies who make little use of themselves. I admire your practicality. Alright. Let's converse. Nose ring. Captain Amparo. Uh, Manila to Honolulu. Told New York is linked to Reykjavik. by the ice wind. Fares well beyond most travelers. Uh, Honolulu to San Pedro. Honolulu to Tapatinga. Darn. All right. Well, New York to Reykjavik. Iceland. It's good to know. It gets us. That will get us a good ways across the Atlantic. We got across the Pacific first. We had some ill winds in the morning. She kept calm and focused. I did not know Tagalog. Perhaps was what they spoke. All right. Popped around until the weather settled. Seawater clogging my shoes. The master will be pleased. The gentleman is always presentable. Hmm. Look at us being a sensible Britishman. I missed a chance to get. Anyways, here we are in Manila. Some of our possessions could earn us well here. This is awful loud. Alright. Sell it for a little bit here. 
Yeah. I like this. That's good. We'll keep that. Get ourselves uh, some new routes across the United States, which could come in handy. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and plan out our trip. As of right now, Honolulu. Uh, in two days, 12 at noon. No charge tomorrow. We can do that. And our master will... Should be all right. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. New routes discovered. So we could come up here to Yokohama, but I'm thinking that getting this, doing this journey would be good. Um, we arrived at the Spaniard governed capital Manila, most interrupted time, suffered depredations of a major typhoon. That's not good. Um, originated with sailors, steamer Aeolus. Near the telephone exchange. Fog. Drink. Only boiled water. Hmm. That's pretty grim. Uh, went on to the telegraph office, sent a message to a dear friend. My ex lover? Ooh. To apologize for my behavior. All right. Let's go ahead and stay the night. Get ourselves a little extra health. Ordered him every service. There we go. 55. Doing fine and dandy. Ooh. Big picture. Let's embark. Okay. Air gear should set us right. Um, Reina Cristiana. Cristina. Spanish Torres Quevedo type airship. Gondola shaped to resemble infamous Spanish galleons. And it's richly outfit. Furniture Fijian. Silk curtains lacquered ornamental automata imported from China. Wow. We are courageous. Attend to Monsieur. You're welcome, good man. Journey to Honolulu would take four days. The airship would refuel and go on without us. From there, we had other plans. So he's losing some health, but we're, you know, got to find ourselves some uh, other routes. All right, Puko to Havana. Puko to Port Moresby. Apples. Honolulu to Habitinga. Honolulu to San Pedro. Dominoes. Let's get some more information out of this guy. Um, Acapulco to Panama City. For Eldorado itself. Uh, Dakar? I don't know where Dakar is. Making our way, Filipino cruise, book a mix of Tagalog and Spanish. Um, utterly fascinating. Do you think I not possess a sailor's heart? Many gentlemen would consider such an insinuation an insult. Luckily, not a gentleman. There we are. Make friends with the captain. Sorry. Let's go ahead and attend to Mizir Fogg. Try and keep his health up as much as possible. Portrait of King Armadeo. First hung in the relatively unused corridors of the gondola. Looking for a secret. And stumbled across small rooms with a crucifix and an altar. The one aboard was literally a closet Christian. Ha <laughs> ha! I believe he's telling. 
was a giddy paradise. It could barely be real. As we settled down for the night, I was struck by an unrelated thought. Dateline. My watch already. Reached the point. Directly opposite of Greenwich. Greenwich? I think it's pronounced Greenwich. Um. There we are. So let us converse quickly with Mr. First Mate. Honolulu to Acapulco. Okay, Acapulco to Dakar. Okay, Acapulco to Havana. Yeah. Punta de Gal Delgada. Mmm, well that is useful right there. Hello, Bay good time. Crew landed us, deflated the envelope to refill it. Watch them work. Guy ropes themselves, falling slack. Just charged. Alright, there we are. Our travels have taken us to Honolulu. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to wrap up this episode. We'll hang out here in Honolulu for a little bit. So, thanks again for tuning in for more 80 days here on Additional Pylons Games. Hit like and subscribe. Check out some of the other series going on on the channel. Leave a comment below. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.